folks, we're here in Santa Fe at Zane Bennett Contemporary Art. As you can see here, we have the release of the Venusian soldiers, the great Virgil Ortiz from Culture East Pueblo. So, we're gonna go check it out. So we got a chance to catch up with the great Virgil Ortiz from Coach de Pueblo. Tell me a little bit about the Venusian soldiers. Uh, the whole theme of that show was to display and introduce the characters of the 1680 Pueblo Revolt and it's loosely based on it and it's my interpretation of the Pueblo Revolt. In my script that I have written about them is that they're in the process of looking for a new Pueblo and they just survived a big bombing in their Pueblo so that's why you see them wearing the gas masks and the breathing tubes and what you see around their necks are actually oxygen takes. So to create these soldiers, I wanted to incorporate as many as my, of my friends that I could have to bring them all together. And I picked out the ones that I thought were really great mentors, such as yourself and you. other artists, other um, actors, um, like Nikki, for instance, an MMA fighter. And I just wanted to pick very positive people that, uh, that all the native kids could look up to. And that's me right there. The Itamu is my Itamu character. Is his character right here. That's Captain of the Runners. <laughs> it's awesome. The pottery is all traditional methods and materials, and that means like we've been using the same materials, the clay, the paints, everything is completely how it's been. There's nothing that's changed as far as we know how long it's been going on. Really traditional potteries, I'd like to push for, forward to help the kids know the traditional part of Cochiti pottery and then also help them expand their minds and push them as far as they could to uh, be as, as creative as possible and not to be afraid and get themselves out in the world. That's great, that's, that's really great. Tell me a little bit about um, what Indian market means to you. My family has been doing it market ever since I could remember. Like we basically grew up here. Every year we always look forward to Indian market. We'd be working hard in the previous months leading up to market and it's all exciting because you get to actually enter your pieces to be judged. And then everybody drops off their best pieces, hoping you get a ribbon and get a little bit of exposure. And that's really exciting. And it also helps with sales also. So it's really cool to see in one building all of Indian Market's best pieces from each artist. And it helps all these natives um, get their work out there. That's awesome. Well, Virgil Ortiz, Coach de Pueblo, it's great to catch up with you.